Hey guys, last night on Twitch I had a really great stream, and there was just a whole lot of discussion, and it felt kind of like a bit of a podcast, so I figured, why not just go ahead and chop that up and throw it on YouTube and, and make it sort of into a podcast. So, if you like what you see here today, make sure you go check me out over on twitch.tv slash superderek, and I'll see you guys there. Look at that, the soldier! <laughs> Okay, okay. That's what I really wanted to show off. Is that he's just driving around <laughs> in a, driving around on his horse in a sitting pose. Okay. That's that's all I was really sticking around for. <laughs> hey everybody! Welcome back to Super Derek Streams, the only show on the internet where I provide live commentary for my old reviews. And also I play Trails in the Sky, second chapter. You've got a question about Dr. Pepper? Sure. I'll try to answer one. I didn't think this would turn into a Dr. Pepper AMA. When I used to drink it, the description said it was sparkling fruit flavor. Does it taste like fruit to you? Sort of. In fact, it, it tastes like a very specific flavor, in fact. Have you ever had prune juice before? Because that's exactly what this tastes like. This is carbonated prune juice water. Did you guys know that? Yes. Yes, it tastes like prunes. Speaking of prunes, how the hell do you get prune juice from a prune? It's like saying raisin juice. There ain't nothing left inside of a prune. It's a prune because it was a plum that's been dehydrated. As in, there ain't no juice left in it. We need to get to the bottom of this conspiracy, guys. I need I need to hire you guys on as a crack team of special investigators to find out, one, what they're doing to prune juice to make it juicy again before they juice it. And two, are they injecting it with Dr. Pepper? The very important questions. I, I think we've uncovered a conspiracy. But yes, it does taste like fruit i guess if it's still considered a fruit at that point it tastes like the, the the juice of something fruity that doesn't have any juice in it that's what dr pepper tastes like i i bet you didn't expect to get such a in-depth response to that question huh nobody here in the west nobody here in the united states even knows it tastes like prune juice i just know that it does the wiki says rehydrated prunes using hot water extraction methods the debate has gone on long enough. <laughs> but nope, it's it's rehydrated with with boiling water. So they so they it's like it's like prune tea. So it's or plum tea. So it's like you take the leaves of a of a of a tea leaf, right? And you dehydrate those and then you boil them in water and it turns your water into tea. Well, it's the same way with prunes. You take the prune or the plum and you dehydrate it into tea leaves and you boil the hell out of it. And then you you add carbonation and put it in the can, and it's called Dr. Pepper. Except, except it's 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 entirely artificially flavored. Oh wait, it is natural and artificially flavored. I'm guessing 99% of the natural flavors in here aren't. Well, what's kind of interesting if you've ever looked up um like cola recipes, cola is actually contrived of a bunch of uh, fruit flavors, mainly citrus flavors and citrus and bitters. Some of it's also like the, the cola nut, but I don't think they even use that anymore. There's this YouTube channel that I that I watched. I think it was called How to Drink. And it's by a nerdy dude who just makes cocktails in his bar. And I think he also made things like sarsaparilla. And I think he even made a cola. I could be mistaken about that. Yeah, Dr. Pepper does have a, a, a hint of cherry. Mm-hmm. For sure. I miss the old days of cola nuts and cocaine in my Coca-Cola. So, all sarsaparillas are root beers, but not all root beers come from sarsaparilla root. So, it's actually made from sassafras root, but there is a sarsaparilla root that was named after the sarsaparilla drink. So, let that sink in. Root beer is gross, just awful. I disagree. I, I I like root beer. 
I like root beer quite a bit. I also really like uh, cream soda. In fact, cream soda. There's there's a new Dr. Pepper out, a new diet Dr. Pepper out called Diet Dr. Pepper and cream soda. And holy crap, I tried it for the first time and it was awesome. A fellow cream soda fan. Cream soda is just the best. Vanilla flavored soda. How do you how do you go wrong with that? Started off back in my my early childhood days loving Shasta cream soda. Shasta is a brand I haven't seen in forever. And then and then A and W. But then I moved on to the hard stuff, you know? Gotta get that IBC brand. Root beer is like humans. At first it's cloying and sweet, but one day you will find you like it. <laughs> Uh, that sounds about right. I don't think I've seen Shasta in a long, long time, though. Shasta used to be like, at least here in the Midwest, it used to be this brand that you would get of like Shasta brand. Every kind of soda. It would come with like grape and orange soda and cream soda and root beer. And I think they had a cola, but it was it was trash compared to like everything else. I haven't seen it in forever, but it was an interesting brand. I feel like they were kind of everywhere. And, and, and then they weren't. Did they have a, a grapefruit soda as well? Or am I thinking of a different... I think I'm thinking of a different soda. There was a there was a grapefruit soda that was Fresca. That's that's the other... God, that, the 90s were such a weird time. Anyways, I've got 47 people here. Let's play the game. <laughs> uh, the way that they're grouped together in real life is because of tectonic pressure, but the mechanism is probably different for septium created earthquakes. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> earthquakes. Yeah, yeah. More about this cream soda stuff, though. So yeah, actually more about the cream soda stuff, because I barely got to gush over how good the, the Diet Dr. Pepper and cream soda is. I got a 12 pack at uh, hy V the other day. And I just demolished it. It was fantastic. If you haven't had it yet, you you need to go get it because it's truly tasty. It tastes. I so for some reason here I can't find any diet cream soda anywhere. I would love to have some diet cream soda, but um, but yeah, they apparently just don't sell it in cans here. But but diet Dr Pepper and cream soda is super good. Well, I only resumed the discussion of cream soda because somebody else kept bringing it up again. And it reminded me of something else that I wanted to say on the subject. What type of soft drink do you think Estelle prefers? Strega. So anyways, it makes you kind of wonder why people aren't selling off uh, like raisin juice if they can do it with prune juice. Why not? Why not raisin juice? That is the question, isn't it? I feel like that's an untapped market. Like, I mean, and you've also heard of uh, craisins before, right? They're uh, cranberries that have been turned into raisins. So why not craisin juice? Untapped market. Boil some bananas. I've never seen a dehydrated banana, though. Although banana juice, I would probably drink the hell out of that. Truth be told, I am bananas for bananas. That's right, Bored to Seth. 23 flavors and only one of them is actually detectable. By the way, you ever notice how uh, Dr. Pepper spinoffs or or knockoffs? 100% of the names of, of knockoff Dr. Peppers sound like prison names. 100% of them sound like prison nicknames. Okay, here we go. Dr. Wow. Real doctor. Dr. Thunder. Dr. Wright. Dr. K, Dr. Shaw's, Dr. A+, Dr. Stripes, Dr. Skipper, The Doctor, Dr. Snap, Dr. Shasta, Dr. Choice, jo Dr. Bold, Dr. Perfect. 100% <laughs> of these sound like uh, like prison names. If you were in prison, you don't want to be Dr. Perky. <laughs> yes, Dr. Perky. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> There, there's so many. There are so many of them. <laughs> Dr. Perky. That, that was definitely one of the standouts from another time I was looking through a bunch of pictures. 
Ah, Tita's just the cutest. If you liked what you saw, there's a good chance you'll like what you see over on my Twitch channel. So make sure you go check that out over at twitch.tv slash superderekrpgs and I'll see you there.